What's up guys, Pippi Deed here and welcome to another episode of the Trophy Cabinet. Today's tournament is Le Bleu, which is obviously uh, the nickname for the French national team translated to the Blues. And uh, the requirements for this tournament were to have a French squad in the starting 11 and subs. And uh, I was pretty excited for this at first because obviously French players... Uh, are very talented on uh, in real life, obviously, but on FIFA they have some really good cards like Lacazette, Griezmann, Pogba, etc., etc. So I was pretty excited to play with this team. However, I played the tournament a few times because I rarely win at first try, and it did really annoy me a few times. Uh, like Lacazette, especially, he was really annoying me at times, and Griezmann too, but Griezmann not as much. He's one of the better players in this team. Pogba is pretty good. And the rest of the team was kind of weird because I didn't really know what else to do in the midfield. I knew that with the formation I was playing, I had to have a CDM. So I knew that I wanted Matuidi in there. But I didn't really know who to get in the other center mid role spot. Because there really isn't anybody else that's good besides Pogba and Matuidi in the midfield. Unless you want to go Kabai or something like that. So I went on the FIFA Reddit to see if anybody was talking about the tournament. And somebody actually said that the Rabio, Rabio, whatever his name is upgraded card is pretty amazing so i bought him i tried him out for a few games and he actually surprised me he didn't play that bad so that is why he's in the team for the final and we went up early right there as you saw with lacazette and griezmann would join lacazette on the score sheet right there in the 18th minute makes it 2-0 and as you saw in the beginning, our opponent had a little bit of a weak team, which was a bit surprising to see in the final. He also did have a bit of a strange formation, so I was going to try and see if I can win this game and uh, take advantage of his weak team and weird formation. And over here in the 22nd minute, Lacazette on a great skill run, makes it 3-0 is on a hat trick and we are cruising in the final looking like we're going to win. We just need to play the rest of the minutes. And uh, yeah, something funny about this tournament is that usually when I build the teams, I name the squad after the name of the tournament. This time, I couldn't actually name my team Le Blue because Les is a banned word, which is pretty funny. So I had to name him The Blues. I don't know if you guys saw me uh, name the squad, but that is what I ended up going with, which sucks a little bit. But uh, anyways... Yeah, over here, Lacazette, through on goal, once again, beats those defenders with the no-touch dribbling. Hits the post there. Unfortunately, he can't get his hat-trick just yet. And in the 38th minute, our opponent would have a chance to get himself a goal over here. However, he does pass the corner right to Lacazette. And with that, we go on a 2v1 counterattack. Griezmann waits for Lacazette to push up a little bit more. Sends him through on goal. Can Lacazette get his hat-trick? Yes, he can. This time, he finishes it. Makes it 4-0. And that pretty much all but sealed the game for us because our opponent started playing worse and worse every time we scored a goal. So we were going to take advantage of that, get a fifth goal, and hopefully play the rest of the minutes without disconnecting. And over here in the 45th minute, our opponent would have another chance to get himself on the score sheet as he goes on a nice little run with his midfielder right there. He gives it to Nzanzi, and Nzanzi has a great chance to score. However, Loris comes up big with a great save right there to keep that clean sheet. And with that, we head into the half, 4-0 up. Possession is pretty uh, similar for both teams, but we've had way more shots on targets and shots. So. I feel like I can win this, and if I don't, that would be pretty terrible. And over here in the 46th minute, literally seconds after the second half started, we would have a chance on the attack over here as he passes the ball right to Rabiot. Zuma loses the ball to Lacazette right there. Lacazette is through on goal. Has a nice shot. Great finish. Makes it 5-0. Gets his fourth goal of the game. And I find that pretty funny because I just said that uh, Lacazette was annoying me in this team. But don't let this one game decide whether or not you want Lacazette. Because he is very iffy at times. So uh, definitely try Griezmann if you have a lone striker French team formation. I don't know why you would have a French team. But if you do, uh, definitely try Griezmann before you try Lacazette. Because Lacazette is a uh, hit or miss for me at least. And after that, that would be all she wrote. We win the game 5-0. A pretty easy final. Uh, one of the easier finals we've played recently. And with that, we are crowned the champions of the Le Blue tournament. I know, I know that I'm using an Argentina kit, an Argentina badge. And I usually like to dress for the occasion. But uh, I couldn't buy the French national team kit or the badge. Because they were ridiculously overpriced. 
So I have to kind of predict what tournament's gonna come out. Anyways, we win the tournament, add that to the trophy cabinet. We also get ourselves a rare gold pack, which I believe may be a 25k pack or a 50k pack. I think it's a 25k pack. Can we get anything nice? The design is very nice on that uh, pack right there. But our best player ends up being Agbana, the West Ham center back. And we also get Kovacic. So a pretty terrible pack, but uh, it is untradeable. So we're going to go ahead and send everything to the club. Anyways, guys, this is going to conclude this episode of the Trophy Cabinet. Today we play Le Blue. My name is Pippi Deed, and I'm out.